Honourable House Leader for the New Democratic Party. Mr. Speaker, my question is for the Premier. I don't need to remind the members of this House about last year's collapsed crane debacle on South Park Street in the wake of Hurricane Dorian and the chaos and resulting hardship that this caused, particularly for small businesses and residents in the corridor. Recently, the same developer whose costs were covered by this government erected a second crane at the site in order to finish the inter interrupted work. It's unclear that anything much has changed in the meantime, including whether the developer and the crane operator will be required to carry more appropriate levels of insurance. Mr. Speaker, has the government changed anything around disaster response, liability, or transparency as a result of this disaster? The Honourable Premier. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, the Honourable Member raised a very important question. Uh, she would remember uh, that happened. Uh, there was a number of issues about who owned the crane. Was it the crane responsibility? They were on there as a subcontractor. Uh, we then moved in, uh, Mr. Speaker, to ensure that we provide public safety. Uh, that's what this was about. Uh, it took, uh, Mr. Speaker, much longer, I think, than any of us would have liked, uh, but it was about ensuring the safety of the people uh, in that surrounding community, but also those that were going to have to be on that site to remove that crane, the first of a kind, kind of the collapse that we had in this kind of a centre. Uh, they moved and did that, and now the department will move through to uh, ensure that we recoup uh, the cost as, uh, for the people of Nova Scotia. The Honourable House Leader for the New Democratic Party. Maybe the Minister of Business will be able to respond to whether anything has changed. My follow-up is for the Minister of Business. The many small businesses who were impacted by this issue were cautiously optimistic at the announcement of federal disaster relief flowing through the Department of Municipal Affairs last year. However, upon closer inspection, most of the businesses didn't even bother to apply. The money only covers damage to property, in many cases already covered by their insurance and which is not the true loss suffered by them here. They made it very clear when they met with the Minister of Business last year that lost revenues were their main concern. One of the businesses posted over $100,000 in lost revenue. This is on South Park Street and Spring Garden Road in the commercial corridor that tourists frequent every single day in the summertime. Mr. Speaker, these, for these businesses, this was an empty gesture. Will the minister please explain how government intends to assist these small businesses? The Honourable Minister of Business. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the member for the question. Uh, she actually uh, brokered a conversation with a number of those small businesses uh, on Spring Garden in the area uh, impacted by the crane, uh, and uh, it was a, a very um, a passionate conversation. Certainly, they were frustrated, uh, and just uh, it's it's a significant loss. If you look uh, across that table at the the businesses, the men and women that were there representing their their entities, um, it certainly varied in terms of what the services and products were. But uh, at the end of the day, they were all uh, doing very well, uh, experiencing a good season, uh, good performance that year, and then they were certainly uh, impacted financially uh, and otherwise by this uh, unfortunate event. Uh, the reality is that there is the, the disaster financial assistance fund through the federal government. I know uh, the member has spoken about that before, uh, and the fact that the, there's um, you know, insurability questions there. If, if it's uninsured, uh, can they apply? And I think that uh, that s still could be an option uh, in consultation with the uh, Minister of Municipal Affairs. I also think that communication was the big piece. So I think that in any event and disaster such as this, it's incumbent on levels of government to get together and have uh, true discussions with these folks about what can be done. Thanks.